Jesus. I love you, Jesus. See, what Calvary means to me, what Calvary brought me through, what Calvary has brought you through, and where you are today, I want you just to kind of look at yourself and say, you know, I don't know how many umpteen years ago it was, but there was a chance that I never would have looked like this. But today, God, God made a miracle in my life. And I'll go ahead and say it, he changed the course. <laughs> he changed my course in life, and I'm so thankful for that. It's good to see each and every one of you here tonight. Thank you for being here at church, and I, I appreciate this church. I love this church. I want you to look at your neighbor and tell them, I love my church, and I love my church, and I love the people at this church. I'm telling you, you have no idea what you have. You do, in a sense. But when people come in here, and the love and the kindness that they feel here, it's just remarkable. You know what? It's just like the guy on the road out here not too long ago that come over and sat right about over here. He said, I stopped at the red light. He said, I looked over there. He said, I don't know. He said, I liked what I seen. He pulled into the parking lot, come over here and had church with us. Amen? When this message can go out there and pull people and draw people. Amen. That's the work of God in our lives. Amen. That's what we want to happen. Let's worship God tonight. Praise the Lord, church. So thankful that we serve a God who can take the old man and put on the new for us. Such a good God. As we step into a moment of prayer, we're going to be praying urgent prayer for Sister Barbara Lesser again. We're believing in a miracle for her. Prayer for Mary Hamilton. Uh, urgent prayer. That's Sister Glaze's sister. For Michael Costello. Urgent prayer. And it's saying that we had a praise report 
that he, that he has come out of his coma, but we're going to continue to pray for God to move in his situation. For Sister Shirley Horton, for Brother David Nash, for Caffrey Whitehead, Kellen and William Clemens, for Principal Blakeway, Brother Porter, for Betty Mayo, Brother Roger Mitkiff, a prayer for Brother and Sister Irwin, for Brother Boswell. Um, he'll be having su uh, surgery on Thursday, so keep him in your prayers. For Melissa Auer, for Sister Welch and family, for Brandon and Madison Clemens, for Brother Jose Garza, who is out of the hospital, and I actually saw him tonight. He is here, so praise the Lord. For Adrian Lindsay, for uh, Cameron Dede, um, and for urgent prayer for Les Nash, for um, Michael Costello, for Kobe Johnson, and urgent prayer for our brother Alton Knight. And if anyone has a need tonight, the altars are open. Let's take these needs to the Lord Jesus. We ask for your hand to move upon us. My God, we know that there is a victory in your name, my God. There is healing in your name, my God, and we thank you. Jesus, we ask for your spirit to have its way tonight, my God, that your word would prick our hearts, my God, that we would hear your voice in this message. Jesus, we thank you. We praise your holy and righteous name. And in Jesus' name we pray. Psalmist David said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Let's just do a little bit of that right now from everything that's within us. God, we bless your name tonight. We bless your name tonight. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. Praise the Lord. You may be seated tonight. Thank you for being here on this Wednesday night worship with us. Looking forward tonight to hearing from Brother Bo Powell. Man, what a great expectation that is. We're thankful for him. Didn't Brother Pennington preach an outstanding message on Sunday night? That was a great message. Then, of course, Brother Klein Dentz on Sunday morning. We had a great, great services. And our music team just continues to just bless, bless, bless. What great services. God, God just keeps on blessing. We're so thankful for that. Remember this coming Sunday, Brother Tim Mahoney will be ministering in the morning and evening service. And uh, next, next uh, Friday night, the Pollocks will be singing over in the MC Green Center, so don't forget that. And then on Sunday morning, of course, Brother Zambrano, our district our Spanish ministry director, will be preaching for us, but also... Uh, Kim Pollock, who is uh, pastors up in uh, Ben Pollock. I got ben, I got Kim pastor now. You are gonna claim that? We'll all claim that. I'll claim that. I got Kim on my brain, I guess, on my mind. But brother Ben Pollock will be here with us that Sunday morning. Will sing for us, and if you've never heard him sing. He has got some, uh, some tubes he can sing. And uh, we just looking forward to that and we'll leave a word with us along with Brother Zambrano. So what a great, great morning. That's going to be on the 25th. Uh, on the 12th of October, Brother Daniel Gums is going to be here for a children's crusade. And then on that Saturday, we'll be having an outreach with Brother, uh, Brother Gums and then he'll be preaching on that Sunday morning here in our services, uh, do a, he does a tremendous job. Uh, on the 23rd of October, Brother Terry Smith will be with us. The 30th of October, we'll have a fall fest, an all-church fellowship in the John C. Burns Center at, that night. Uh, and then on November the 6th, we'll have Friend Day with Brother Doug Kleindance. November the 13th, Brother Scott Graham is going to be with us. My, what an itinerary we have coming up. God's blessing, what great, great services we're just expecting to have. And tonight, we're going to get it right. There's a baby bassinet in the lobby for Landry White. Brother Kerry and Brother Jonathan Moore's soon-to-be granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah. We finally... <laughs> so we'll be, be sure and remember that out in the lobby. We want to honor them. 
with that new arrival that's soon to be on, on the scene. Uh, October the 6th, of course, we'll be having our uh, be having the Forestry Festival Parade. We're actually going to have two floats in that parade. Uh, we're going to have a work day on September the 24th and uh, encourage all that can to come be a part of that parade and ride on the float. Uh, we want the town to know, and we're advertising. We love Sundays around here. Anybody love Sundays around here? We love Wednesdays around here. We love every day around here. But my God's been meeting with us on every Sunday, and we're just so thankful for that. And uh, so let's remember that. That's October the 6th. Uh, a ladies' conference will be October the 21st and 22nd. How about that? That date wasn't even on there, and I remembered it. And I got 14 vendors coming. Sister Joe Strand, and all of you know, all of our ladies especially know what a great, great blessing she is, and she's very much in demand, and we're fortunate to have her to come be with us. And he mentioned, Brother uh, Terry mentioned Brother Jose Garza. He's actually in service up in the Spanish service tonight. We just thank God for that. Praise the Lord. God, and thank you for all who supported Move the Mission uh, fundraiser this last Sunday night. Had a great, great time of fellowship, great food, and uh, supporting our youth and Move the Mission. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Can everybody say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Anybody glad to be in church tonight? Hallelujah. Has God blessed anybody any more than he's blessed me? I tell you what, I got a right to praise him. I got a right to magnify him. I got a right to give him glory. God's been good. God's been good. Why don't you stand with us? We want to receive our evening offering. Thank you for your continued support uh, financially of our church with your tithes and offerings. Let's we'll go to the Lord in prayer. God, tonight, we come to thankful. We come with thankful hearts. We thank you, God, that You've given us the opportunity to come worship you in spirit and truth, but God, we've also given us the opportunity, God, to bless your church with our finances. We ask that you take these finances, God, bless it to your use in Jesus' name, and we'll ever give you the praise. And everybody said amen, and you may be seated. Page 317. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior, pardon me, and now I onward go. I know He'll take me through. I am weak and poor And I can't feel at home In this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home Then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me From heaven's open door And I can't feel at home Just up in glory land, we'll live eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their song of sweetest praise drift back from heaven's shore. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me 
from heaven's open door and I can't feel at home in this world anymore oh Lord you know I have no friend like you if heaven's not my home then Lord what will I do the angels beckon me from heaven's open door and I can't feel at
time to stand together and let's just thank the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you sing it with us one more time? My chains are gone. I thank you for your goodness, God. Oh, Savior, you ransom me like a flood is mercy reigns. An ending love. And a shout, perhaps, if you feel it in your heart right now to do so. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. God, we honor you. We honor you. Thank you to this great praise team and every effort that's made each service with regard to so many things and certainly worship and the wonderful atmosphere that's created in the church family as a result of high praise to the Lord is so significant and so important. We appreciate every effort that's done. And as we're preparing for the word of the Lord here for a moment, um, I want to refer quickly to some pictures. And I'm so sorry I just sent them, Brother Whitehead. But, and they may be there. But we've got some things that, that I just wanted to show you. There's so much goes on around here that we very, very often don't. In fact, our dear, much honored and loved Brother Pennington, did he ever more, as Brother McGee said, preach a great message Sunday night. Let's give the Lord thanks for that again. And then our great student pastor, my, 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 what an outstanding ministry through this weekend and the worship. Uh, Brother Pennington has been steady at it, and I, I want to say since I've been here, this may well be uh, the first time that every single air conditioning unit, I believe, that's in this building is working and also across at the John Burns is working right now. Can you give God thanks? In case you don't know, that's about 43 air conditioning units, I believe, all together, and all of them are working. So uh, that's, uh, that's not a small accomplishment. So thank you, Brother Pennington and the many, many others, Brother Westfall, Brother McKee, and I know I'm leaving out many names. Thank you, Brother Whitehead, Brother Tannery, Brother Harley, my good son-in-law, and a dozen or so other men that have been working around here on various things, and it's just been so appreciated, so appreciated. And among those things, I don't know if you could catch any of those pictures or not, but I deeply appreciate Sister Whitehead, Brother Whitehead, the Jernigans, Sister Cami Alvarez, and others. We now have a brand new look in that hospitality suite upstairs, and it, uh, if they, they, I just literally moments ago sent that to them, so there's probably not a chance that they're going to be able to get any of those up there, but we, uh, we are thankful. It looks wonderful in, in there, and uh, we just give God the praise for the, for the many things that have been done and continue to be done. And if you get those while I'm wrapping this up, go ahead and put them up anyway. I just look forward to Sunday. It's going to be a great day in the Lord. Brother Mahoney will be, be with us again, and he'll do a marvelous job. And uh, great, great, great Sunday this past weekend, and we thank God. And I'm uh, very, oh, here's a few of them right here. So take a look real quick. Some of those, uh, of course, those, those are scriptures, and they're in Spanish. And Sister Whitehead got... And there's some of the some of the pews that are now being used as pews in the hospitality. I'm telling you, if you walk in up there, it just looks like a brand new place. Can we give God thanks for that? That's going to be just a, a wonderful, wonderful help. So thank you to everyone that's involved in that. And uh, uh, Sister Karen Hillman is helping us plan for some things as well. And we're truly grateful. I um, uh, do want to... Remind us all again of, of uh, the efforts that are coming. As was mentioned by Brother McGee, there'll be many, many great, great times together. We're believing in the Lord these next few weeks and months as we move towards the end of this year. Brother Mitchell, we're glad you're home, and we have missed you very, very much around here. Always got 
Yes. He's, he's like, you know, he's got more to do than most folks will ever think about. But thank you, Brother Mitchell, for your incredible blessing and, uh, and your help. Um, uh, not like as though, well, some, I don't know, somebody around here got named Crescent. I don't know exactly why. I think, I think Brother Mitchell told me it's because every time he looked off, they'd slipped off somewhere. But I don't know. I don't know who that might be. I'm sure that none of us would know who that was either. Would you welcome tonight our great retired district secretary for the state of Texas. We love him. We honor him. Come on, let's make him welcome and let's get ready to hear the word of the Lord together. I love my dear friend. And unto Jesus we give praise and honor and glory. Amen, amen. What a beautiful atmosphere of praise is in this house this evening. Don't you love Jesus? Amen, amen. I am so honored to be here, to be a part of this wonderful church. I honor this wonderful leadership. And my friends in ministry, the McGee's, the Pennington's, Senior Pastor and First Lady Christian, just absolutely phenomenal. Let's give them a hand of appreciation. Thank you, Pastor. Amen, amen. There are many verses in the Word of the Lord that confirm God is who He says He is. Early this morning, the Lord began to embark my life on a journey through Scripture, and I want to share a little bit of that with you this afternoon. Turn your attention to the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verses 13 through 19, Hebrews six thirteen four. when God made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he, Abraham, obtained the promise. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. Wherein God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise, the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Verse 19, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, which entereth into that within the veil. Would you pray with me, Father? I thank you for your word. Thank you for this assembly. Thank you, Lord, for your awesome presence that is in this house. Thank you for this praise team that has led us to the throne of grace, and we have saying about how amazing that is. I ask, Lord, for your anointing upon these lips of clay, touch us as only you can do, and everybody said in Jesus' name, and you may be seated. Amen. Simply titled, I Am. I Am. So I bring to you a compilation of verses that the Lord has given to, gave to me so that I can reject the peace robber and the liar that would attack my spiritual integrity. The adversary does attack our lives with lies and or partial truths. But I have an announcement to make, and that is the devil is a liar. Not only he is he a liar, but he is the father of all lies. It overwhelms me to realize God wants me to know him. Not just know about him, but to know him in his attributes, 
his desires, his commands, his heartbeat. You and I can trust that God is who he says he is. The writer of the Hebrews says that Abraham patiently endured and received his promise. He says in verse 17, we're in God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of the promise or unto the heirs of promise, that's us. We are the church of the living God, the heirs of the promises of God and the old song and the old adage, every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter, every verse, every line. I am trusting in the Lord divine, his love, amen, because every promise in the book belongs to every child of God that has been born of the water and of the spirit and claims to be a child of the most high God. We are the heirs of the promise and he has given us to immutable, that is not capable or of any possible change. Things in which it was impossible for God to lie that we might have a strong consolation, that we may be consoled with the entire strength of God. Not just a little bit, uh, but the entire empowerment uh, of God uh, is available uh, as a consolation uh, to the child of God. And that is for them that have fled for refuge uh, to lay hold upon the hope uh, that is set before us. I want to be counted in that number. I believe I'm going to be talking to folk in this house uh, this evening that want to be counted uh, in those who are, are running toward the refuge of Christ. Now, Hebrews 6.18 in the Amplified Version says, This was so that by two unchangeable things, his promise, his oath, in which it is impossible for God ever to prove false, or to deceive us. We who have fled to him for refuge might have mighty indwelling strength and strong encouragement to grasp and hold fast the hope appointed for us and set before us. Thank God that you and I have a hope in this life and in the life to come. And that is a blessing that gives us the peace of God, that kind of peace that goes beyond our understanding. So I offer to you this compilation of verses this evening confirming the power of His Word and who He is. The affirmations from God to man are witnesses of His desire for us to know Him in the early morning Hours the word began to resonate in Genesis 17 11 says, Oh, I am El Shaddai, the Almighty God. Genesis 26 24, I am the God of your father Abraham. He said, Do not be afraid, for I am with you and will bless you. Notice he says, I am, Exodus 3 14, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Exodus 6 and 2, and God said to Moses, I am Yahweh the Lord. Exodus 15, 26, I am the Lord who heals you. It is imperative that we understand that God has our best interest in the center of his operation. 
at the very core of his designed purpose, amen, is the church, which is his chosen people, the bride of Christ. You need to erase the doubt, the fear, the apprehensive feelings of who you might be and go ahead and settle the fact of who you are in Christ Jesus and understand the power of being a son of God, yea, an heir and a joint heir with Christ. I do not belong to this world. I do not belong to the things of this world, but I, lo I belong to Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. Exodus 20, verse 2, I am the Lord your God who rescued from you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. Exodus 22, 27, I am merciful. Exodus 34, 6, Yahweh the Lord, the God of compassion and mercy, I am slow to anger and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. I don't know about you, my friend, but as I was reading this this morning, it became an impacting power that resonated deep in my spirit uh, and I want to share the rest of it with you. Uh, if you obey my degrees and my regulations, uh, you will find life through them. I am the Lord, Leviticus 18 and 5, Psalm 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. Isaiah 28, 16, therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem, a firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes need never be shaken. Powerful words from the old prophet Isaiah 28, 16. I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem. I'm going to tell somebody in this house, if you have a little bit of question in your life about building your life on a sure foundation, you can find no sure foundation in the entirety of this world than on Jesus. Jesus Christ, who is a sure foundation. And you can build your life on Him. Isaiah 41 and 10, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you with my victorious right hand. Somebody in the house besides myself possibly needs maybe their own line streaming, but somebody needs to know that the old prophet hundreds of years ago, amen, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, amen, said, do not be afraid, for I am with you. Fear is a horrible companion. No doubt every one of us in this house uh, have dealt with fear and doubt uh, uh, many, many times, uh, but we can go back into the Word of the Lord and find there an assurance uh, that comes from God into our hearts, uh, and He commissions us uh, to put fear and doubt uh, out of our life. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 42 and 8, I am the Lord. That is my name. And I will not give my glory to anyone else, nor share my praise with carved idols. Isaiah 43, 11 and 12, yes. I am the Lord, and there is no other Savior. First, I predicted your rescue. Then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. No foreign God has ever done this. Your witnesses that I am the only God, says 
the Lord. Isaiah 43, 13, from eternity to eternity, I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hand. No one can undo what I have done. Hear the word of the Lord, dear church family, uh, my friends and brothers and sisters this evening. Uh, the eternity uh, belongs to the Lord. He said, I am from eternity to eternity. And you and I are here in just a little space called time. And we're looking at a God that is from everlasting to everlasting. Hey, I've got a love in my heart for a God like that. <laughs> Isaiah 44, 24, this is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer and Creator I am the Lord who made all things. I alone stretched out the heavens. Who was with me when I made the earth? My friend, I'm proclaiming to you that there is an I am that is present in this house this evening. Amen. And he doesn't want to stay here when you go home. He wants you to take him home with you. And he's a God like that that will go home with me and go home with you. And Every one of us in this house, that's the kind of God that I serve. Isaiah 46 and 9, remember the things I have done in the past, for I alone am God. I am God and there is none like me. Isaiah 51, 12, I, yes, I am the one who comforts you. So why are you afraid of mere humans who wither like the grass and disappear. Jeremiah 23, 23, I am God who is near, says the Lord. I'm also a God who is far away. No one can hide where I cannot see him, says the Lord. I feel all of heaven and earth, says the Lord. Ezekiel 12, 25, for I am the Lord. If I say it, it will happen. It's high time for us to acknowledge the only wise God. Amen. He is high and lifted up. His name is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and are safe. And so I'm going to tell him tonight, Jesus, look out because I'm a coming and I'm a running into the safety of your great name. I want you to know, God, that you're all that I've got, but that's all that I need when I've got you. That's all I need anyway. Malachi 3 and 6, I am the Lord, and I do not change. The Gospel of Mark chapter 14, verse 62, Jesus answered, I am, and in the future you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of God, the powerful one, and coming in the clouds of glory. Amen. John 4, 26, Jesus said, I am He, the Messiah, I am the one talking to you in relation to a conversation that was going on there. John 6 and 48, I am the bread that gives life. John 8 and 12, I am the light of the world. The person who follows me will never live in darkness, but will have the light that gives life. Do you need light in your life? Do you need hope in your life? Amen. Go to God's good word. And there dig into the truths. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was born, I am. John 8, 58. John 10, 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. John eleven twenty five. 25, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will have life even if they die. John 14 and 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. 
The only way to the Father is through me, Jesus said. And so I ask the question this evening, are we looking intently for the way? Are we looking for the truth? Are we looking for real life? Jesus said that the answer to all those questions is in him and in your quest, in your hunger of discovery, of knowing and seeing who he is you will find the way and you will find the truth and you will find life. John 14, 11, believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or believe because of the miracles that I have done. It is imperative, my friend, uh, that I state to you uh, that God will speak uh, into our lives. Uh, we've got to be listening. Uh, we've got to be looking. Uh, we've got to be hungry for His Word. Revelations 1 and 8, And the Lord God says, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the one who is and was and is coming. I am the Almighty. Revelations 1.18, I am the one who lives. I was dead, but look, I am alive forevermore, forever and ever. Revelations 3.11, I am coming soon. Continue strong in your faith so no one will take away your crown. Imperative verses of Scripture that give us direction understanding for the present and for our future. Revelations 21, 5, the one who was sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this, because these words are true and can be trusted. Revelations 22, 20, Jesus, the one who says these things are true, says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. It is so imperative, my friend, that we receive these God-given affirmations from His Word because we are commissioned to search the Scriptures. John 5, 39, Jesus said, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. So this evening, I want to declare that Jesus Christ is not the great I was or not the great I will be, but he is the great I am. He will be a constant companion. He will be a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He is the master of every situation. Somebody, somebody say amen. Life. I want to live. How about you? I want real life that comes from my hunger of the Word of God. And His, His Word, Matthew 5 and 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. So I come this evening, my friend, just sharing a moment in time with you of the directives that the Lord has given in my spirit this morning. I needed an affirmation, and he has come in this house to bring an affirmation to you and to me. He affirms. He affirms to you, my friend, and he affirms to me. And I can, I can testify that he is my everything. I realize I say that a lot, but it's more than just verbiage that pours out of my mouth. It is a reality of life, amen, when you have nothing else to lose, amen, and you reach out and you put your hand in the hand of the Almighty God, He will sustain you in your hour of distress, and He is that comforter of all comforters, a strong consolation to us. I pray that there will be revival in Leesville, and I pray that there will be revival in Vernon Parish, and I 
I pray that there will be revival in Louisiana, amen, and around uh, this nation uh, and, and the world. I believe it's available to us. And we recognize who he is and his abilities to bring it into our possession. And we declare it's real and it's mine. It's mine. Somebody say it's mine. So you can trust a God who is what he says that he is. And that is, he is a blesser and a giver of peace. The kind of peace that goes beyond any comprehension or all understanding. So this evening, my friend, I will close with a reminder from the Word of God that we're dealing with an unchangeable God who will not lie to his church or his people. You may have trust that is broken in the arm of flesh and in the realm of humanity, but you can put your trust and you can put your confidence in an unchangeable God that has promised he would not lie to his people. He will always prove true and he will not deceive. And that is to we who have fled for refuge. Thank God for the coming out of the world and into the church. The church is a hospital for the wayfaring man. The church is a refuge for the lost, the lonely, the helpless, and the destitute. And I will declare that if you're not in the church, then my friend, you need to get in with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind, and trust him because he will keep his promise. Would we stand here this evening? Everybody said, I am. That is the almighty God. He is the I am. Amen. From eternity to eternity, I am God. I understand as we live on this earth, we must recognize before we came, God had a church on this earth. And if the Lord tarries for 15, 20, 2500 years or so, a lot of us will be already gone to our eternal reward. But I declare to you, there will be a church on this earth until Jesus Christ comes and raptures that church out of this world. And so I want tonight to put my trust in a God that rules from eternity to eternity. And that would include my little space of time from 1955 uh, until uh, whatever that closing date is. I stand flat-footed uh, and I rear back and I square my shoulders uh, and I say, uh, He is my King. Uh, he is my Savior. Uh, he is my everything. Uh, he is the great I Am, uh, the Almighty God. Uh, he's the everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. Uh, he's Counselor. He's wonderful. He's our everything. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ right now. So unequivocally, I must declare to you that I do believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ. And the last two or three verses I read from Revelation declares that he is coming back for a people. And those people will be those that have prepared themselves for his return. So I place, so I place all of my confidence and all of my trust into the hands of a God 
that rescued me from the quagmires of sin and shame and the debauchery of this world. And he took me out of that and he placed my feet upon a solid foundation. And he establishes our going. And may we with a clear conscience serve the Lord with gladness. Can you say amen? He is, he is the I am. I would open these altars for a moment if you would like to come and stand around in this front of this church. Let this word, I know it was fast and furious, but let some of this word of God so soak down into the inner of our lives. I call for the I am to erase all confusion and doubt and fear in our lives. I call for the I am to confirm himself in our hearts and in our minds in the name of Jesus. can lift a hand and join in or lift your voice, your mind together, Lord God. Help us now. Yes, 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 yes. Could you lift my hand together if you feel like it? I am. I am the righteous one. I am the lamb. Yes. I am the ram in the Yes, 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 yes. I am the ultimate sacrifice. One more time. As we close tonight, I remind myself again. It was the psalmist that the Lord gave these words to. Yea, though I take the wings of the morning and fly, behold, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. Thank you to this great man of God for reminding us again that we're not serving just anyone. We are serving the great I am. Can you give the Lord some praise with me again for that right now? Never ceases, never slumbers, never sleeps, never wears out, never runs out. Not only does he not run out of power, but he's not going to run out on you either. He said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you and I will go with you always. I am. I think there's a great group here tonight in this house that have tremendous respect for the fact that we've, some of you lived for God for a little while now, some decades. And I know there's a testimony after testimony. When I needed him, he was right there. Yea, even when I didn't even realize how close he was, he was there. When I didn't see an answer, he was there. When I didn't have a way out, he was there. When I could not figure it out, he was there. Hallelujah. I feel some blessing in this house tonight, Brother Gosnell. 
I feel that good presence of the I am in this place. Can we put our hands together if you please? May we give him thanks together again right now. Hallelujah. So if you are in the valley, just remember he said that he would be with you in the valley. That though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he would never leave you. He would be right there. Not only would he be right there, he would prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Not only that, but as we all know from the scripture, he said, I'll give you a cup that just keeps running over. I'll not only give you enough to satisfy today, but I'll be sure and have enough that tomorrow when you wake up, I've got more mercy because his mercy is from everlasting to everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. I just got a little fresh revelation tonight of who we're serving. We are serving the great I am, the ever-present help, the God that's always there. Hallelujah. Amen. Doesn't matter how difficult it seems, Job said, he's still here. He's, I may not understand, but he knows. I may not have it figured out. You guys think you got it all figured out, but I'm going to tell you, where were you when the morning stars sang together and the sons of God shouted for joy? You don't know all about this. Don't sit here and try to pretend with me that you've got all the answers. None of us do. I can't tell you why I'm in this situation right now, but I know this. The God that was with me yesterday is going to be with me, and I'll paraphrase a little bit tomorrow. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you this. Though he slay me, yet I'll trust him because I know he will not fail me. Hallelujah. Can we praise him again one more time? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I wish I knew that song good because that's a good song right there. 